हेलो एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू बैक ऑन संजय गुप्ता टेक स्कूल सो दिस इज लाइक डे नाइन्टी नाइन ऑफ दिस सेल्स फोर्स लर्निंग बूट कैम्प एंड आई थिंक दिस विल बी द लास्ट सेशन बिकॉज इन टुडे सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्यू एल डब्ल्यू सी रिलेटेड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो इन इन लास्ट फ्यू डेज वी आर हैविंग सम मॉक इंटरव्यूज सो फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड एल डब्ल्यू सी लाइक देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो दोज वी कैन नॉट कवर इन वन वीडियो सो दैट्स वाई आई जस्ट शेयर द पी डी एफ इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑलरेडी सो इफ़ यू हैव नॉट रिसीव दोज पी डी एफ फॉर ऑल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो यू कैन फाइंड दैट इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड दैट टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक इज एक्चुअली अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो ओके सो टुडे ऑल्सो लाइक आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्यू क्वेश्चन विद यू Uh, along with the answers uh, it is basically related to lwc so i will highlight some important question that is being asked in the interview and lwc is the must have skills if you are applying for a developer job right so moving on to the next uh, like first question that uh, that we have okay so uh, first and foremost question will be like what is lwc okay so uh, some sometimes like you need to compare lwc with uh, lightning component which is like uh, aura components so uh, you can just define like lwc is uh, lightning web component and it is uh, based on w3c's web development standards and uh, it supports the part of web component that works in browser and add parts supported by salesforce as well okay and uh, quick component development because uh, developer has to use only html css and javascript for front end development and if they want to interact with the s objects then only they will be using apex so it is simpler as compared to aura because aura is basically uh, lightning aura components or maybe lightning components are basically uh, built on top of aura framework so uh, uh, their dependency is available but in lwc we can create lightweight components okay so moving on to the next question uh, lightning web component file so there are total five four files and uh, while uh, explaining each file you need to explain the uses as well like why to implement dot html why to implement dot js why to implement dot css and why to implement this dot js meta dot xml file right so all these files are uh, uh, like uh, useful and part of lightning web component so uh, proper explanation uh, will be coming in the upcoming questions so next is like what is lwc module it it is very much important and uh, in most of the javascript file we have this uh, lwc module imported right so here uh, five points are listed related to the related to that so with the help of these five points you can prepare your answer right so in fourth point you can see the example like we import lightning element functionality so lightning element is a functionality we are importing it through lwc so this lwc which is uh, written in single quotes it is basically a module right so this is a uh, important question that you need to prepare now if we move to the next question so this is the use of xml file like how uh, we can use it and uh, uh, why we use it so if you want to expose your lightning com lightning web component uh, so that it can be used used anywhere in the org so uh, for that like is exposed we need to set as true then in the targets we need to set the different target like home page record page or it can be app page or screen flow or experience site so different different targets we have so whatever target you will be mentioning in this xml file accordingly your components uh, will be visible for that uh so whatever target you are specifying uh, there only it will be available okay so let's see what is the next question so yeah next question is uh, can aura component contains lightning web component so answer will be yes this you should know then can lightning web component contain aura component so no because uh, lightning web component is built on like uh, uh, with the help of web standards so uh, it cannot contain aura component because lightning web component does know about aura so can a lightning web component call another lightning web component so it is possible nesting can be done parent child 
दिस इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइक कैमल केस वर्सेज कबाब केस ओके सो वेन एवर वी क्रिएट एनी कॉम्पोनेंट सो वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड कैमल केस नेमिंग कन्वेंशन बट वैन वी क्रिएट अ कॉम्पोनेंट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू यूज दैट कॉम्पोनेंट इन टू अनदर कॉम्पोनेंट सो इन दैट केस वील बी यूजिंग कबाब केस सो कबाब केस हियर यू कैन सी इट इज रिटर्न लाइक सी हाइफन विगेट राइट सो दिस इज बेसिकली कबाब केस ओके सो यू नीड टू यूज हाइफन एंड आई थिंक देर इज वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो हियर यू कैन सी इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ कॉम्पोनेंट नेम्ड एज माई कॉम्पोनेंट सो दिस इज द कैमल केस माई इज इन स्मॉल एंड सी इज कैपिटल एंड रेस्ट इज स्मॉल एंड देन वी हैव सी हाइफन माई हाइफन कॉम्पोनेंट सो दिस इज कबाब केस राइट सो दिस नोटेशन यू नीड टू यूज दिस इज सपोर्टेड बाई लाइटनिंग वेब कॉम्पोनेंट सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो एज पर इंटरव्यू नाउ वी हैव थ्री डेकोरेटर्स सो यू यू शुड नो लाइक वॉट ऑल डेकोरेटर्स वी हैव एंड वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ दोज डेकोरेटर्स ओके सो एट द रेट ए पी आई ट्रैक एंड वायर सो दीज आर थ्री डेकोरेटर्स सो वन बाय वन लेट्स डिस्कस एंड देर इज वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फरहा सो इज फ्रॉम वेयर आई कैन गो टू द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द बूट कैम्प सो बूट कैम्प सेशन ट्रैकर इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई एम आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द लिंक हेयर वंस अगेन सो दैट यू कैन हैव इट सो आई एम पेस्टिंग इट इन द चैट so this is the session tracker for a you can uh, follow it so what is the use of api decorator so api uh, basically makes a field or property as public uh, html markup can access the components public property right and all public properties are reactive reactive means the framework observes the property for change so when property changes value then the framework reacts and renders the component right so this is the correct answer for this at the rate api decorator and for example what you can say like if we have any uh, property declared as public and uh, we are placing our component on record page so from that record page if we have any uh, like record id record id is a property if it is declared as public so it can receive the value automatically right so this way you can relate an example as well then track it observe changes to the properties of an object or to the element of an array and uh, framework render the component when changes occurs so it is basically used with objects in array only for uh, tracking the changes earlier it is used to uh, uh, declare any uh, property as private but right now if you don't use uh, at the rate track so it will be automatically private limited to that particular component still like if you want to expose any uh, property to another component so in one lightning web component if you have created a property if you want to use that property into another lightning component uh, if you are implementing parent child uh, relationship so in that case also you need to declare that property as at the rate api right because at the rate api will make it uh, public now, now third one is at the rate wire so basically if you want to bind your lightning web component with your org like you want to receive some data you want to send some data so for that you can use at the rate wire decorator right then in html we can do conditional rendering as well right so for conditional rendering what we can do uh, this is the syntax that you can follow and uh, next is like a rendering list so uh, through for each you can implement the loop so these things you need to know like we can apply conditional rendering we can apply uh, loop in html file right then how to write expression in component so this is also important to know right so above you can see html and below you can see javascript then how to call controller function in component so this is also important to know so we just need to use curly braces and the name of the method and method we need to define in the javascript then or i enabled so if you want to call any apex class right so uh, aura enabled uh, annotation will be uh, exposing the method to the lightning components and uh, caches the returned list on the client so this is also important to know and it is important question that is being asked in the interview then life cycle hook so you need to know the sequence like how they call what is the meaning right 
uh, this is the life cycle flow that you can remember right so uh, it is written in keeping in the mind like we have parent child relationship between two components so you can explain it right then what are three ways to work with salesforce data so there are three ways lightning data service so these are base lightning component lightning record form uh, lightning record view form lightning record edit form then we have uh, lightning data service wire adapters and functions so predefined modules we can import and then third one is apex so uh, like these we already discussed in the session so you can go through then what is lightning data service it is explained here so you need to prepare it and it is also uh, like important question because through lightning data service we don't need to manage the apex and this is a table comparison table i think with the help of this table you will be able to relate the differences so we have lightning record form lightning record view form lightning record edit form so all the comparisons are available here this is also important then wire service important again so you need to prepare it as well then syntax so you need to understand the syntax like what what is the meaning of that particular uh, parameter that we are using right so uh, here in this slide you will get to know each and everything right so i think it is also important and uh, with this summary you will be able to understand <clears throat> okay then why to import references to salesforce object and field so prepare this as well important so all these questions which are available in this slide uh, this pdf all are important and uh, if you prepare these so you will be like clearing your uh, developer interview so this is like how to get current record id so uh, you can uh, create a property named as record id and decorate it with at the rate api decorator how can we deploy lightning web components so uh, where various tools are available you can use them like chain set and gear set copado then communicate with events in lwc so uh, we have event so uh, like you can uh, dispatch events right so that uh, you can pass some data from one component to another then lightning message service is there so you can prepare it so lightning uh, like uh, events and lightning message service these are also important then pub sub model right so these three things you need to uh, remember in interview then where we can use lightning web component so this is the list that you can prepare right so these were some important question that uh, uh, i already uh, shared with you so if you go through my telegram channel so in the telegram channel these are already available so once again i am going to share telegram channel link where you can find these so i am pasting the telegram channel link in the chat so if you click you can uh, subscribe that channel and there you will find all the pdf uh, it is like i shared four pdf one related to admin one related to flows one related to developer questions and one related to lwc which right now i am sharing okay so i think with this with these 99 sessions you will be able to prepare yourself for uh, interview right so uh, first learn everything in detail and then uh, go with the uh, interview questions so everything is with you right so uh, i think uh, uh, with with these sessions uh, you will be able to prepare yourself for interview so do let me know if you need uh, something else like uh, parallelly uh, along with this uh, salesforce omni studio bootcamp is already going on so uh, like through that you can learn about omni studio and other than that uh, i am planning to have a few more boot camps those will be specific to salesforce so that i will be starting from next month right so i think uh, uh, if you are a self learner so all these sessions will be helping you because we have covered everything in detail and all the exercises are with you right so i shared all the knowledge with you and uh, i i am happy like um, uh, with this knowledge you will be able to uh, prepare yourself for jobs so this bootcamp will be helping uh, freshers intermediate 
even like uh, those who are working on advanced role like for them omni studio will be helpful and if it, if they uh, doesn't know about uh, flows recent updates so that will be helpful integration related videos qa related videos right so all those uh, sessions will be helpful for them okay so so this is all from my side and i will be having one more session on uh, maybe saturday or sunday where i will be announcing a give giveaway right so do join and uh, we'll be sharing some gratitude okay so i am just uh, just ending this session here only because uh, i already shared the uh, content with you okay so thank you for joining all the sessions and uh, uh, like keep uh, waiting for day 100 because uh, there will be some uh, announcement for a uh, few folks uh, those who can get benefit from that so it will be helpful for them thank you everyone